I'm too young to really know granddaddy, but I know how people love him. And so that is the effect of a life like the one SF lived. There's no time and space to cover everything, but I want to say this. SF was unusual because God gave him the ability to be an amazing pastor, a great prophet of God. God gave him the ability to combine that with a strong professional career. As we have our representative of CIPN that came up and spoke about him, and I'm thankful that he spoke about him. I remember that day when he had to leave CIPM. Now, think about it. Great in ministry to the glory of God, an accomplished professional in his chosen field, and yet a great family man. In most cases, you don't get three out of three. You get maybe two of them, but God gave him three out of three. And he was a wonderful husband to the love of his life. The girl he met back in the day, the girl that made him run a race and win and carry first, just to impress her. This is Margaret. That he has poems he wrote to mommy, in which he called her my Meg. And he was her helper. Too much romance. To the church he loved, I said God will keep the church. Amen. To the choir that was his heart, until the day he left, God will take you to higher heights. Amen. To everybody here who has come to celebrate him, we value you. As a family, we appreciate you. This is love. And I pray that God will bless each and every one of you. Uh, we thank God for herself on behalf of the Corradi family, the Olaoye family, uh, Daddy MTS in Omaron, uh, Daddy in Ilori, Daddy Corradi, everyone in Omaron is saying thank you as well. Uh, we say that God will keep us. And for the rest of the program, God will take all the control. I thank the church, I thank the committee, I thank everyone. Thank you so much. God bless.